this morning i want to preach on a topic i titled everyone is an immigrant <laughs> touch somebody by your side say to him everyone is an immigrant i didn't hear you touch to somebody say everyone is an immigrant say to your neighbor everyone is an immigrant Everybody is an immigrant here on earth. Now, when you want to talk about immigration, immigrant, it means somebody migrating from somewhere to somewhere. Is that correct? Immigrant. It's just like some of our people that travel to the US, they don't have papers, they see them as immigrants. You know, some of them there, you migrated from Nigeria to the States. You migrated from here to Germany to some other countries. So, now, everybody here on earth is what? And what? Immigrant. And that's what people fail to understand that everybody on earth be you a poor man, be you a rich man, is what? An immigrant. Nobody has a resident here on earth. Everything that consigned the earth, you are what? An immigrant. You came from somewhere. And let me tell you, if there's any decision by President of America, I say now, everybody that migrated from all countries and come to the United States should go back to their country. My brother, you will leave your car, you will leave your house, if you even married an Oyibo there, you will leave your Oyibo wife and find your way to work, your country. Now, everybody that lives here on earth, no matter who you are, you came from somewhere that you must go back to. It is hard time we all understand that all of us here on earth is what? An immigrant. And that's why when you are expecting God for blessings, when you're looking for something good, when you're expecting God for promotion, when you're believing God for anything, we did not say it's not good. We are saying it is good. But no matter what you earn on earth, hear it one day. One day you shall leave them and go back to where you are what? Coming from. You came from somewhere. Have somebody ever thought about how did I even come to existence? If you ask them, they will say, yes, now my mother conceived me and gave my birth. But let me ask you a question. Before your mother came and conceived you, somebody conceived your mother. So that is how the train came. Now, if you follow the train, then you discover that before somebody that came first came and conceived and people now began to conceive and the thing became a lineage, there was some foundation that brought them to life. And that is the foundation of God. Now the question is, how did I come? How did I manifest? What was the process of my migration to earth? Am I meant to stay here? Or am I meant to be here temporarily and prepare to go back somewhere? Then you discover that before man were made, before human were created, there was God in existence. And there is something that wonders me. If you look at the Genesis, the Bible said that God created what? Heaven and what? Now the question is this. If God created heaven and earth, that means God was in existence before the creation of heaven. Where was God living? Let me tell you something. God, we are in existence before the creation of the heavens and the earth. God, we are living somewhere before the creation we are made. And after he made the creation, he now decided to send somebody here through a process of migration. Genesis chapter 2, 7. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Yes. 
And the Lord God formed man of the dust. Now when God decided to bring us here, when he created all these things, man was not in existence. He decided to produce a man. It was the production. And it took process. And that was how we migrated. Now let me hear. Of the dust of the ground. He said, God made a man from what? Which dust? Dust from the what? From the ground, yes. And breathe into his nostrils the breath of life. Now, God breathed into the nostrils the breath of what? Then what then happened? And man became a living soul. Now, man became a living soul. Now, understand this. Now, number one. God used dust of the ground to make a man. You know, he picked it up. He began to mold you. After the molding, he now saw it was good. Now, he brought the section two of life. And the Bible said, he bit into the man, and the man received life, and now began to what? Exist. Two process. Now, the question is this. When man now came here on earth, now, remember that the foundation of your creation is where you came from. Is that correct? Hello? The foundation of your creation is where you came from. Is that not correct? Now, remember your creation is two things. Dust and life. Which he did by his own Britain. Now, if any man wants to go back from where he migrated from, he equally followed the same two process. That is why when man dies, you'll be what? Buried on the dust where you came from. Now, what completes you as a dead person is when the breath of life, which is the spirit, leaves your body, your flesh became ordinary, which is that dust that was molded. Hello. And at that time, the spirit and the life leaves you, then you return back to where you came from. Remember you came from somebody. That person you came from was that person that said, mm. you became a living being. When you want to go back, the two things he brought together as a priest too. The spirit, the life leaves you and go back to who? Then the dust goes back to what? The dust. Now at that time, at that time, Everybody began to realize that you migrated from somewhere. You were a foundation that came from somewhere. And that is why here on earth you are a temporary being. When a big man or big woman dies, you forget about your house, your cars, your aeroplanes, your offices and your businesses. In fact, whoever that takes over it, will you know? It could be your enemy that will take over it. And when your enemy takes over it, it becomes an issue of life. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And that is why, let me tell you, for you to migrate back from where you're coming from, which is where your resident belongs to, you must have to follow a principle. Take me to Ephesians chapter 6, 17 and 18. You must understand that you came from something. Ephesians 6, 17 and 18. So as you are here on earth, this is what you should do. And take the element of salvation. As you are here, one of the guarantees for you to go back to where you are coming from genuinely is for you to wear the helmet of what? Salvation. salvation. And the sword of the Spirit. Uh -huh. The sword of the Spirit. Which is the word of God. Which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication. Praying always, be ready always here as you are here on earth. In the spirit. Uh -huh. And watching there unto with all perseverance. All perseverance. Watch there unto. Whatsoever that is necessary for you to watch. So that you can return back to where you are coming back. Where you are coming from. Because all of us are immigrants in this place. And supplication for all saints. And supplication for all. May the name of the Lord be praised. Amen. Say better, amen. amen. We came from somewhere, we must go back to that place. 
We all are immigrants here. No matter how much you hustle and make billions of naira, any day death comes calling you, you will not remember. And death can call from anywhere. It can come from the air, it can come from the land, it can come from the sea. It can come when you're sleeping, you can't wake up again. The dust separates himself and the spirit go back to the owner that breathed it into you. And immediately you see that every race here ends. Then you have a question to answer somewhere. And that's why if you're a genuine servant and child of God, everything that should be running in your mind is that you are an immigrant here. Here is for temporary. One day you will go back home. You came from somewhere. Take me to him 110. This is not my home. Take me to him 110. This world is not my home. Shall we? Uh -huh. This world is not my home. Shall we? I'm just a passing through. Yes, sir. My treasures are led up. Oh, yeah. Somewhere beyond the blue. The angel back coming from heaven so put on. And I can't. Oh yeah. Oh Lord. Oh Lord, you know. Oh yeah. I am no friend like you. I hear you. I hear you. If heaven's not my home, then God won't be like you. The angels don't come in. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If I will start my hope, then Lord, what will I do? The angels welcome me from heaven so put on, and I can feel a Last bus, last bus, shall we? Thank you, Lord. Ah. Oh yes, oh yes. Oh yeah, just oh we glory like yes sir. We will live it on oh, as and on every oh I shall take it to the sounds of sweetness breeze Then cry from heaven strong And I can't be like Let me hear you, oh Lord Oh Lord, you know I have no friend like you If heaven's not my home Oh Lord, what will I do? The angels break up me and I can't feel a hole in this world anymore. Acts of Apostles 749. I can feel at home in this world anymore. Let me tell you, heaven is where the Lord has used to make his throne now, and earth is with his footstool. And we are preparing that heaven at last. Tell your neighbor you are an immigrant. You are an immigrant. You are an immigrant. Hi. Acts of Apostles 749. Yes, sir. Heaven is my throne. Heaven is my throne. And earth is my and footstool. Earth is my footstool. Hear me. We are living in the footstool of God, believing one day we will join our Father in his throne. Kai. Kai. Over there in glory land. Kai. 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 Let me tell you. If your mind has not subject you to understand that you are an immigrant here, you're making a big what? Mistake. You are what? An immigrant. One day you must go. All your billions and millions will just disappear. So whenever you're looking for your wealth or success, always have it at the back of your mind that you are an immigrant. One day you shall go home. Oh. 
Thank you, Lord. Which, which verse said, Over in the glory land? Let, let me hear, let me hear. Who no Piara Minas, Piara something. Which, which verse is that? Verse 3. Just over in glory land. Yes, sir. We live eternally. We will live eternally. Sit on every hand. Oh, yeah. I shout in victory. We are going to shout victory. Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. And I can feel at all in this world. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. Hey. I can feel a hope in this world. Can we clap our hands for this God? This heaven will be so sweet. This heaven will be so sweet. This heaven will be so celebrating. If you are part of those who are ready to go with us. <laughs> if you are part of those who are ready to go with us. Wave your hands to this king of glory. Wave your hands to him. Thank you father. Thank you Lord. Thank you father. You are going to take me to this one hymn before I go. <laughs> take me to, to, to him 11. Yes, sir. We can see it by faith. We can see the light where there is milk and honey. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yeah. Hey. Thank you, Father. Yes, sir. Shall we? There is a land that is better than it. And by faith we can see it afar. Oh, to prepare us a dwelling place. To prepare us a dwelling place. Oh, yeah. In the sweet by and by, oh yeah, we shall be on the beautiful shore. Oh, in the sweet by and by, oh yeah, we shall be on the beautiful shore. Oh. We shall sing on the beautiful shore. Hey! The melodious us of the blessed. And our spirit shall sorrow no more. Oh yes! Not a sign for the blessing. He does with. Oh yeah! The young man. We shall be on the beautiful shore. Put your hands together for this God. You can celebrate him. You can celebrate him. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We will meet on the beautiful show. Let me tell you, sometimes you allow problems to occupy your mind. Tell your problem that you are an immigrant here. One day you are going to leave him and go. When you die, sickness dies. I don't know if I'm saying. When you die, poverty. When you die, thinking of marital issues. When you die, thinking of barrenness. So when you, when the problem becomes too much, you say, Oh, ye problem. Let me remind you, I am an immigrant here. In the sweet kind. By and by. 
We shall meet on the beautiful shore In the sweet by and by oh, oh. We shall meet on the beautiful shore Hallelujah, amen. amen Can I prophesy to you? Your race on earth will not be in vain no matter how immigrant we are, we are returning home as a permanent resident in heaven because we are known that our race here will not be in vain. Can I pray for somebody? Open your hands and lift it up. Your race in on earth will not be in vain. After this race here, you shall return back to where you came from. And when you go to the throne of your father, you will say, Father, I have gone to earth and I have sat there and I'm back. And on that place, there shall be no more sorrow. There shall be no more sickness. There shall be no more pain. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on the beautiful shore. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on the beautiful can I pray for a believer here every situation in your life that has always caused you to have a rethink of doing one evil to the other that will lead you to hell I speak here as an authority that situation is reversed in your favor in the name of Jesus I pray for you my God will answer you in the time of your name the days of your sorrows are over. The time of your joy shall begin from today. I pray for you, you will not miss heaven. I didn't hear you. I pray for you, you shall not miss heaven. In the name of Jesus, God and the baptism of the Holy Ghost shall come upon you. And the name of the Lord shall be glorified for your life. May God glorify himself over your problems. And from today, your problems shall die forever. In Jesus' name, Lord, we pray. Let somebody say louder, Amen. Can you celebrate this God of heaven? Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Hallelujah.